what we're going to do, we're making our Space Invaders game. Today, we're going to add the saucers and we're going to get the game started. Kodu is a software with Microsoft that allows them to develop games. And you have to like create your own character and then you have to program it by using different keys on the keyboard and program it to do different things like moving and shooting. The Xbox controllers I find they're easier to use because I've got an Xbox at home. They've been developing Kodu over the years so far, so what we've started doing is getting them into the controllers and actually producing a video game. Yeah, we'll make one of these station game. My game has lots of trees and you have one person trying to defend the trees against the loggers coming to knock the trees down. Once you've created a game, you're like, this is my game and it's quite fun because you've created your own game. It's like interactive while reading, you're just reading. It, they, pulls in the audience of everyone. Everyone prefers to play the games than just sit and read about it. It's really focusing on what they're interested in as well. The Xbox and the controllers and the video games are something they're used to. And it's quite a nice way of teaching them about deforestation through something that they enjoy. So they're really engaged in it. Don't turn them on yet! Don't turn them on! Students have started using Mouse Mischief, which is an add-on to PowerPoint to make the whole lesson interactive. You all get a wireless mouse and you in pairs in. The teacher will put a question on the board and then you, you have to be the first one to get, click the right answer. Which character is this? They find it really fun, but also it means that they're not just sitting, they've got to pay attention all the time and they get feedback instantly whether or not they're right or wrong. Well done, Chloe and Shan again. Kim, the teacher, was actually using it as an assessment tool effectively. The students were clicking the answers. They knew if they were right or not. She could see what percentage of the students got things right. Do we have Kodu in our Space Invaders game? No. No, what do we have instead? Saucers. Saucers. It's quite fun because it's something different to do. A new way of teaching their skills and a new way of them learning through something that they're interested in so that they're totally engaged and learn it and enjoy it at the same time. 